I thought I was going to continue being on television and having my own show, but I never, I really never thought what was going to happen after 50 and that at 59 I was going to be able to be where I'm at. I always wanted to be a journalist and I did that for 35 years and I was enchanted. No one really thought that I could win this race and be able to topple uh, one of the Democratic titans. I know my people. I know they will vote for me. And I proved it. Even 20% of the Democrats, Hispanic Democrats, voted for Salazar. I knew that I stood for the values that are entrenched in my community, the Cuban Americans, the exile community, the immigrant community of South Florida. And I said, I can represent them because they feel like me. This is not a mar this it has nothing to do with political parties. It has to do with your convic conviction and with your love for the American agenda, the American exceptionality. I don't sweat the small stuff. I'm kinder. I'm more compassionate. I am, uh, I'm here for the common good. We're all the same. We're on the same boat, rowing towards the same place. No one owns the boat. <laughs> We're all in the same position. We just have to be kind to each other and know that, um, that life is an experience and at the end, you should not resent, you should love more and, and raise your levels of awareness and know where you're going and have compassion for the other mm -hmm. who may not know where he or she is going, who may not have those high levels of awareness, who may not have the compassion, who may not have the wisdom, and that's where I'm at.